and we are back welcome everybody to the channel peace tap here and look at this after eight long days of back and forth fighting with italy and the rebel nation we have made it and we have conquered the entirety of northern africa and we lost barely any health or manpower while taking back tunis from italy which is absolutely fantastic to see we're gonna move this one unit over to here and we're gonna work on starting to get some, oh, wrong one. Arms industries up and running in these cities just to help with our shortage in supplies. Now fuel, we have plenty of. So Tunis having an arms industry, not a huge deal. That actually ends up being the one unit of supplies that we're making the most out of. But we can upgrade to level two or I guess level four, technically. In our capital, we can up our local industry here just to help replenish these supply numbers. But we're also gonna look at building a boat. Oh, we are so close, 100, 1,500, oh. Okay, we will have to continue to build one of those later in the episode when we come back. But for now, so far so good. We are 100 plus in three of our six main categories. We need to start focusing on getting these three to be over 100 an hour production. But we have some time. I don't think we can buy any supplies now because there are no offers left. But we've also made some pretty big po progress here in Spain. So, as you guys know, we captured the city of Valencia. We then moved those troops in and captured the capital of Madrid. Right after the last episode, I took this one unit and I sent them around to kind of clean up these extra lands. And it looks like France is finally awakened. And maybe they have tried to apply. They have not. No one has tried to apply. I'll reach out to France again and see maybe they didn't see it. But it looks like this may end up just being a solo style game, which we need to be mindful of. Now, Portugal also has, so we can send them a message and see if they're willing to join us, which will then allow us to focus more on our front with France than it will with Portugal. We also have a decent amount of units here, so we're actually waiting just a little bit longer for Madrid to be fully under control. And hopefully we can try to grab Zaragoza before France gets it. I don't think we will. I think France might beat us there. But slow and steady. We have some troops here. We're actually going to go out, grab that land, and move back. Oh. Over there. And then end back in the city capital. So far, so good. I would really like to get a boat somewhere in this area that i can use to protect france from coming over because right now we are very vulnerable to attack we can actually send our planes to kind of hover over the sea now that we've captured this region we also need to be mindful of Finland, even though they are very far away uh countries who are growing rapidly like this are countries we need to be mindful of in the future because they can very easily spread across the rest of the continent. But so far, so good. A very happy start to this episode. Let's, uh, fingers crossed, it will stay this way. And looks like there's nothing much else for us to do right now. We're going to take a quick look around just to make sure we're not missing anything uh, super obvious. The AI is uh, still taking chunks of Spain up here, but... Uh, it looks like Portugal is going after them, so we don't have to worry too much. Uh, the United Kingdom woke up. That's good to see. Looks like the United Kingdom has decided they uh, are playing now. We are still technically enemies with them. When we took over that little bit of land from uh, Spain. So hopefully, maybe they will accept our peace offering we sent them back in the beginning. Ireland's alive. They took over this... Uh, northern part of Ireland and this is just a big mess up here so not too surprised 
And oh my gosh, Iran. Iran has absolutely developed, developed, wow, devoured all of like mainland Russia in the back. That is quite impressive. And it looks like Russia had just spread itself a little too thin trying to get over here to Belarus and Poland. So things like this can happen. I believe last episode, if we checked in on it, I, Iran was only looking around this area. And then they have just exploded, taking all this land for themselves. And they will eventually move in and capture the cities one by one. Hate to see it. Uh, it does look like Russia may have instigated something like this. I'm not sure if this was considered Russian land before. It looks like they took part of Ukraine. Yep, yeah, because of Donetsk. So, you know, sometimes you uh, make enemies with the wrong people. And honestly, Iran does have a coalition with Turkey and I think Syria. Or it might just be those two. Let me check. There's just two of them, Turkey and Iran. We could also see ourselves possibly weaving our own coalition if we need to, if people don't end up wanting to work together. And we can either jump in with Turkey, Iran, or maybe now that Russia has been mostly taken over, Germany may be interested in joining us. So we'll see. But also looks like Germany is having its own issues with France as we speak. So we'll see what happens. We'll give it uh, no, another day or two, kind of figure out how things are developing. But for now, I will bid you adieu. And we will come back later to see kind of how our troops are doing, where we move, and uh, what our next move will be. Stay tuned. And we're back, and we have some great news going on here. So. We sent our squad of six from the city down here in Malaga up along the coastline in order to correct these uh, these provinces that we did not already capture. And we had them pass through uh, Venezia because we saw France expanding this way. And I wasn't sure if they would be able to make it all the way to Zaragoza before the French had came down and captured the city, but it looks like France is holding steady where they are. They grab one city and they're just kind of hanging out there. They're not doing much. Uh, it's kind of strange. They did send their fighter jet out to patrol the city, probably to make sure I don't spread into them. And as you can tell, I did the same so we can 100% see each other, but we're not fighting. Uh, that's a good thing. It means, you know, obviously they're being smart trying to protect their the farthest city. But at the same time, they don't seem like they want to actively engage. So that's good for us. Uh, so we're going to grab this city here and we're going to kind of hang on and uh, wait it out. But see kind of what France does. We could swing up around here and sort of entrap them and kind of make it where they're kind of stuck to the coastline where once we have our sip completed we can bombard them with some uh, naval attacks and hit this city and this city and we would pretty much completely stop France from being able to spread down and counterattack us which would be nice for us they would have this city over here but if we were able to complete a third ship and kind of have them sit right here or sit somewhere where they can maybe protect our bat in here we would be in a very good position now we have four units down here and we sent another unit to grab a spot here, but it looks like we missed this little urban area. So we got to send out another unit real quick. We'll send out two just to be safe and we'll move them there and they will move right back afterwards. And hopefully by the time we get back from our next for our next episode, Madrid will be fully conquered. Things are working well. We still have this group of seven now because we produced another uh, manpower there. And I think we are going to go and send one, two guys over to capture these cities or these little islands because these will become very important later in the game in case uh, we need to set maybe some type of an airfield there to kind of skip over and attack at a farther range. So we're going to try to grab all three of those. Boom, boom, and boom. 
and then we will have them come back and finish up here on the same city they're waiting from. That also being said, we need to look at where we're sitting with resources. We're still well on our supplies. We're not quite as high as I would like to be, so we need to figure out as a way to supplement our lack of funds. Obviously, we are building two ships, so that's going to eat up some of our funding, but we don't have enough to produce a third. So, how can we can how can we figure this out? What we have there, here, in this city. So I'm going to look at my city map. Now, these are only going to show me cities in which I conquer. Like these two, they're not going to show me the little provinces that have the ability to produce more resources. So right now we have level four arms industry being built here in Algiers. And what we can do, look at building up our arms industry here on this city. And then we're going to go with that, that route so that way we're not wasting all of our supplies right away. We have a little bit in reserves just in case we need them for some more manpower down the line. But right now we're sitting, okay, we have enough electronics to uh, last us for a while. We're producing plenty of oil, uh, some rare materials and some components. So we're doing pretty okay outside of the supply area. We can't complain, but that will be it for this episode. Uh, definitely some time passed between when we uh, we're starting the episode and now we had a couple of uh, delays in our sh in our recording due to uh, some software failure. But so far, so good. Uh, let's take a quick look at the global population going on. France is relatively happy besides this kind of area that we're all fighting for. Uh, looks like Poland, Germany, and the local insurgencies are tearing this whole area apart. So Germany is still relatively put together. So I will say they may come on top. Poland's pretty much almost all gone. As we know, Russia had stretched out really far, which then left them completely open to Iran. They come in and just grab all this land. So, you know, Russia's gone, which is kind of surprising. Russia usually has a late game, but their player just stretched themselves a little too thin. Uh, we were looking at the possibility in the beginning of episode that Iran has an open spot in their coalition. Now they say Syria, Turkey, and Iran. Well, I only see Turkey and Iran, no Syria. So it leads me to believe that either Syria has walked away or what, but they're not, they're not playing. They're, you know, they have some stuff built up, but nothing too impressive, it looks like. So I don't know, maybe we will see if we don't get any more applications uh, when the start of the next episode and we will reach out to them and we may join their coalition for it since they are spreading very quickly as we can tell. Well, that will be it for now. I appreciate every single one of you who comes and tunes in and is watching the series. Thank you so much for your support and just uh, supporting the channel that the way you are. If you like the content, please hit that like button uh, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you know when I upload the next series. I try to push these series out almost every day if I can, but um, sometimes there are some hiccups where a day or two gets missed or I might have to double up on certain days. But again, thank you so much. I look forward to the next episode to see what's going to happen. And I look forward to hearing from you guys later. Have an absolute wonderful rest of your day or night. And thank you.